Hi, I'm Derek, and in this video, I want to show you my favorite practice pads with less or without rebound. Okay, let's start. So, when I've started to play drums back in, I think, 1990, something about this, there weren't some practice pads like today without rebound or less rebound. Um, and in an interview I've read with uh, Dennis Chambers back then, he said, I practice all my rudiments, all my stuff on a pillow. And this is, of course, one of the cheapest methods to train your hands. So I brought a pillow today. Okay, and let's try. Okay, so this is a very cheap method to train your hands, but um, sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable because you have to uh, mount it somewhere or... Yeah. So today, as I mentioned at the beginning, I will show you some practice pads, okay? So the first one, let's start maybe with a, with a not so famous practice pad. It's from the brand Sultan. You can barely read the logo. And originally it's um, the color is in yellow. So I will put a photo here that you see the original uh, color. But I liked it more to paint it black. So it's just uh, my version. So you see here some where well, it's a little bit of yellow. Okay. And I've made a complete review on my English channel here. And what I like about this pad is uh, the foam. So the foam, when you play like here, you have almost no rebound. So, okay. But what I like about this is that you have a good articulation because when you play it softly then it's I don't know if it if you, if you can hear it uh, with the camera mic okay now it's getting louder but when you want to practice at lower levels in a lower volume but with articulation for me this is the right pad okay so at home when I practice um, small strokes And it's very hard to play the doubles or rudiments where you have to use the rebound, okay? So you have here almost no rebound. When you play harder or louder, then you have the rebound. But the foam is very tight and thick, so you don't hit the wood under the foam. So when you play very strong with a lot of power then it's no problem okay and yeah I like this you can watch the full review on my channel but um, this is one also cheaper pad I think it's about 30 euros or something you have to check it out at I bought it at Thoman so there's also a link in the description box and this is one of my favorite pads with almost no rebound and practicing in lower volume levels and having a great articulation. Let's go on. And this is a very famous pad. So it's the Siljan Reflex pad, okay? And it has two sides. There's also a, a special review, an extra review here on my channel. But let's talk about the Reflex the work side. It's a little bit of sparkling. Okay, the other one is a thicker foam, and then the work side is here. Okay, put it on the stand. And then you have almost no rebound. Compared to the Sultan pad, it's Uh, 
and you have a little bit less articulation and volume. So the Tilgen reflex pad is also a great pad, but it's very expensive. I think it's about 100 euros and you have to be very careful with the foam and um, yeah, I like this pad a lot, but it's yeah very expensive and you really have to care about the pad. Yeah, so it's not a pad you can throw in the corner or just store it anywhere. So it's for me really fun. And it's a little bit quieter or softer from the volume um, than the Sultan pad. So this is a great pad. And of course the main side for me, this is, this is the main side and then the work side. You have two sides and one pad and it looks great. It feels great. I like it, but it's expensive, man. Okay, let's put this back on the stand. And one of my very favorite drum pads is the famous Moongill pad, okay? So this is an old version, so there's a newer version. I think it's more a brighter blue and uh, with less with less wrinkles, but um, yeah, it, you can train the same muscles and it's very quiet. Okay, so I think you will get this also, you can buy this uh, in 14 inch, you can put this on the snare drum. Um, I couldn't afford it, so um, it's also an expensive pad, but I bought my first one back in the 90s, I think, and this is my second Moongear pad. So the first one after years and years of heavy, hard hitting, after a while then this gale, gel was destroyed but as I mentioned it's my second pad in 30 years so this is great to practice at home at very low volume levels okay but of course you can hit very hard so what I also re recommend or maybe you've heard and seen you've seen it is to practice with heavy and thick sticks so I recommend, so the Wigfirth, Ralph, it's Hardison, sorry man, um, Core Master, and they're, they're very heavy and a little bit longer than usual sticks. And then you can really build your muscles to build control, speed, endurance, and you can practice with no problems on the Moongill pad with these sticks and the Zoltan pad, and again, with a reflex pad, I would be a little bit more careful not to damage uh, the foam, okay? So, yeah. And this you have to mount somewhere. So you have a screw here, or you can mount it on a practice pad stand, or of course you can mount it in a usual standard um, snare drum stand. But what I also like about this pad, you can mount it on. You can mount it here on this minor knee pad adapter. So you have an M8 screw and this is also fitting for M8. So you can put it here on my leg. So, okay, and I like to practice in this position with shorter drumsticks. So, you can use like kids drumsticks, then it's a different angle, huh? Instead of playing with longer drumsticks like this, then you can, and you're training your wrists a lot. I like to practice with these ones, okay? And these are 
custom made from a German brand, Rohema. They built a um, practice pad stick for me with a shorter size. So just ask them and they did it. So thanks. And I like this too. So you can practice with thicker sticks and um, maybe also on this knee pad with a different pad, with a standard rubber pad with a lot of rebound and so this is my recommendation or how I use the Moonge pad so at home um, on a practice pad stand with regular sticks maybe your regular drum set sticks or with thicker heavier sticks and mount it here on this knee adapter it's um, I practice or I like to practice with shorter sticks so in conclusion I like all three practice pads and uh, of course it's a very personal decision um, which one you like more so the cheapest one is the Sultan pad and it's it has um, for me a great sound articulation and um, I think they build it all only in this size I, I don't know so it's 11 or just look it up in the internet or I put it here in the description box. So this is the cheapest but also the loudest pad, okay, of the three. But also with almost no rebound. Then well, the reflex pad, it's very expensive but I like this pad. It's um, well built and um, great feeling, great sound. But you have, as I mentioned in the beginning, you have to be careful with the foam and not to destroy it and um, yeah. But it's a little bit softer and quieter and um, yeah, also a great pad. And one of my all-time favorites, the yeah, very famous Moongil pad or Moongil pad. It's the quietest and it's also a little bit more expensive but um, yeah, I just like it and I play it, as I mentioned in the beginning, um, since almost 30 years. So this is also a great choice. So it's up to you. Find your pad when you want to train your muscles, speed, endurance. Try different sticks. After a while you switch to, to heavier sticks or short sticks or longer and, and lighter sticks. And just try and uh, be creative with his pads okay i hope you got something out of this video and um yeah let me know in the comments if you have other pads with or without rebound or with less rebound i mean and the classical thing would be to practice on the leg but the leg hurts and it's not good for your skin and your muscles here so it's just maybe to warm up for two or three minutes. But if there is a drum company watching this video and they're looking, they feel bored and they're looking for a new input. So I would invent, I would like to invent the jeans practice pad. So it's a practice pad with some jeans and it feels like a leg. So the leg for me is the drum pad, drum pad with no rebound but all the other pads have a little bit of rebound so drum companies contact me and then we will build this famous knee pad together oh just okay thank you for watching subscribe like donate if you like super thanks or whatever write comments and let this channel explode okay <laughs> Okay, so have fun with this and see you soon with the next video. Bye.